Foxconn plant in northern China halted production after a brawl. The latest reports from the China Labor Watch say workers are back on the production lines now. So will there ever be an end to the problems at Foxconn, or is this a never-ending cycle? And so this is actually, uh, I think it's a never-ending cycle with, uh, with larger implications than what you may even be asking me, because I believe, so I, I think that while human rights, abuse, human rights abuses aren't going away in China at all, first of all. I mean, that, that's, it's, it's going to take years uh, for the country as a whole to achieve the economic prosperity that's going to allow them to unionize and, and uh, kind of go through the same sorts of uh, work, workplace improvements that America went through uh, around the time of the Industrial Revolution. Uh, so, uh, and, and thereafter, and it took a long time for America to do it. So you've got to assume with, with China being a much larger uh, country population and landmass wise, uh, with a, a still strong agrarian uh, economy component to it, that it's going to take a much longer time for them to modernize and get better uh, rights for workers. Uh, but beyond that, um, I think that there's something going on here with Apple as a brand uh, involved in this becoming a never ending issue. Uh, if you were to ask uh, uh, John Furrier here at the company the same question, he might disagree with me, but I believe uh, the loss of Steve Jobs at the helm has actually uh, encouraged this uh, problem to rear its ugly head in, in the press uh, much more so than uh, it would have had was he still alive uh, because of the uh, famed reality distortion field that exists around uh, exists around. He's just a very charismatic man. And so he could, you know, wave his hand and, and problems disappear and, uh, you know, people stop thinking about it. And he's not here to do that anymore. Uh, the last time this came up, the last time, well, not the last time, but uh, the last time there was major outrage with the public and people were saying, we need fair trade Apple. Uh, he went on stage with Kara Swisher, talked a little bit about how we have a new Apple here. We have a new approach to manufacturing. We're, we're, rights of the workers are in our, in our hearts. And we're better than anybody else. And people believed it. And the issue went away for a year. And since Tim Cook has taken the helm, we've seen the drumbeat against Apple on their manufacturing processes come up with a regularity of once every couple of months. So I think that this is an issue that, and to an, direct, directly answer your question, is an issue that's not going away. So is the answer then for Apple to cut all ties with Foxconn? Uh, I, you know what? I think the, the, the answer here is for Apple to uh, maybe go with production that's not in a, uh, you know, in such an economically depressed environment. I mean, bring it back to uh, a society that uh, has uh, labor standards. China has no labor standards. And that, that's the crux of the issue. When, when you move manufacturing to a, a country with no labor standards, no matter how much pressure you put them put on them as the buyer, they will basically do what they are allowed to get away with by cultural and legal constraints. Well, Mark, thanks so much for joining us this morning. Mm -hmm. No problem. For all the latest in-depth coverage and breaking analysis on News of the Day, keep up to date with News Desk right here on SiliconANGLE TV.